sat in my bro. You good? You good? Yeah, spot on, mate. Spot on. Lots been going on, as everybody knows, mate. Um, I don't want to go obviously too deep into it because I know it's sort of sort of settled now, as I've seen from a couple of videos. Um, but what's your side of it, mate? Like what actually happened? What what was the cause of it all? We know obviously the beef between us both, but no. what made you explode on the day? Well, firstly, before I get into it, I just want to send my condolences. Obviously, Johnny Jab, you know, unfortunately, you know, passed away. So, you know, sending my love and that to the family. You know, like we said before, we just both speaking about it before, you know, you we spoke to him. I had a voice you know, earlier. Yeah. Was but I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to open it, man. It was, and I tell you what, believe that, there's still the kindest of message. And I just want to, it's a bad event. I'll get onto it. Like, I tell you the type of guy Johnny is. Obviously, he was heavily involved with 3D, you know, director, etc. Yeah. Like, even after what happened at the press conference, and I missed him around to say sorry, his reply was, listen, don't worry about that. How is your mental health? Yeah. Quality, That's man. the type of guy Johnny was, Johnny Jab. So the, video, I, the video he sent me, like, he sent me a video and a couple of voice notes. It was just, like, happy and, like, laughing and having a joke on the video. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just sad, man. Sad. He's such a nice guy. Like, but um, let's get it. Like, from that, let's get into it. Um, yeah, because I said the fuse to everyone. It's the last time I'm going to make the speak about it. So I'll give that to you. So, yeah, yeah like the last time I'm going to mention it. Look, so living in London, you know, our class is trolling me for a long period of time, for months. You know, even when I had that shit going with the charity, he added on to it. Um, you know, he said, to, you know, some wild things regarding my missus and my unborn. It does not excuse my behaviour. You know, what I did was wrong. I accept that. You know, I've apologised to everyone that was affected by it. You know, the ripple effect. It's been a learning curve for me. You know, I think it was definitely a bit of a wake up. But I think, do you know what? I think if I'm being real, I think... Lim London didn't get that just because of his behaviour towards me. I yeah. think he got that. I think that was a result of like things from like Darren, the charity, all the children. I think I saw him and I think he just got the full brunt of Every, all that. Everything, everything that sort of built up and he yeah. got it for that. And that's why I honestly believe, you know, Liam Ditchie said the greatest response you know people don't realize how they're gonna act it until you're in a situation like that and you've been through what you've been through it, this, yeah. i'm not trying to make excuses it's just it's, we're talking about it so obviously yeah. i'm gonna say about it because i know people are like well you're, you're still making excuses i'm not i'm trying to explain it so i'm not making excuses yeah but i take full responsibility i accept it was wrong i ain't trying to fight it no more or get into any more Beast and that with it. Um, shout out to his coach as well, Hector Live. Um, we've actually got a mutual friend. I know he's done shout out. There'll be no more call outs from him. We have a mutual friend and uh, we're actually going to do a bit of filming that together. I'm not, he's on his own journey. That's not for me to say. But um, yeah, shout out to him. I had a voice note for him, mutual friend earlier, and all three of us are going to do some filming. So, those who are trying to jump on the bandwagon and like that, thinking there's a beef there, uh, potentially could have been. But there's definitely not going to be beef. And, um, yeah, we're actually going to film together. Yeah, that sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Yeah. Small Just, world. Don't, you don't need all this beef, mate. Like, no, because I, I wasn't even going to reply to it. Too, but it's only when I got back. I had a couple of calls and a couple of his friends. I don't know if I can say their names. Um, one was sort of Liam Galvin. And, and the guy is actually connected to, like, mutual friends. And that mutual friend has a lot of uh, respect to that for me. He's on his own journey. He's on his journey. And, yeah, I think he just pulled him up in it. And sort of maybe explain a bit more, but um, there is no beef there, people. You know, and there, even though we went in, things that said is what it is, but there is definitely no beef. And you know, I'm trying to put something together, we're actually going to go and film. So, yeah, good, good, mate. So, um, moving on from that, like, uh, back to the like fight and talk, yeah, I'm um, gonna start, like, are you gonna keep I mean, it in yeah, the beef, sorry. the beef fights? Like bare knuckle beef fights, or you're gonna like start chase, like try chasing for like belts and things like that. But I told you, listen, I'm in this game properly. I said to you before, man, I, you know, I'm in here to make a statement. Like, you know, don't get me twisted just because of the YouTube and everything. Like, 
you know, I think I've already made a statement, but I've got the fastest knockout in British history. Even still, people try and fault me in that. Do you know what I mean? I still get yeah. faulted, but but how can you disrespect or fault anyone that walks into that ring bare knuckle? Yeah, hundred percent. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like, right, like yeah. you know, there wasn't a lucky punch that was drilled. If you see my video before actually on YouTube, the drill with Mark Spencer, that's drilled. Fainting up top, up with the uppercut. You know, that's just you're in there. Yeah. You you're drilled. I caught him. You know, he was a reputable fighter. I've said this before, but the guy who actually done it who did, does have like a, a combat sport. Yeah, like it wasn't just some everyone's trying to make out some kid, but it's not some kid off the street. And he took flying knees and all that in MMA, bro, and that didn't drop him. There's there's one clip I see of him, took a big flying knee of a guy who did look a lot bigger than him, and yeah. he took it. You know, so, you know, I've got that one. I've got Marley Tomlinson. Um, I don't know what's happened to the 3D Fight Club in a minute. It's all up in the air. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to give Bobby K that opportunity at the minute. What I'm feeling, I think he's absolutely disrespectful. You know, I shouldn't have said that comment the other day, but I think he's completely disrespectful. I think it's gone to his head. I chose him to give him an opportunity. Yeah, I yeah. chose this guy because I liked his story and all that. And now he's going, oh, I'm professional. You know, he knows all these people because I chose him. Because I really liked his story. I, really, I want him to prove people wrong. And then that day in the car park, I even said to him, look, carry on with your journey. You're doing good in that, yeah? Even though the shit he said. And then he still turns around and goes, I was up his ass in that. I was like, how disrespectful when someone shows you love and respect and then you go back and completely disrespect and then say, oh, my missus in the DMs. And, Mate, I think it's just gone to your head. And, like, you only be in something because I'm giving you this opportunity to fight me. So were you meant to be still fighting on the card then? Or were you totally... They want, yeah, they want me back on the card. Yeah, so with Bobby Kerr? Uh, I believe so, yeah. All right, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, no, more, more, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby's got more of a chance now because of Johnny. You know, I want to represent. You know, I want to represent Johnny at at three D Fight Club. The minute at the minute, I'm torn because BFBA, who I am contracted fighter for, do not want me fighting on three D now, especially after the press conference and that. So it is a bit of a tricky one at the minute. It is stressful. Um, I like to go fight them all. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's, it's exciting for me. You know, I'm, you know, I'm only going to leave more of a legacy the more people I fight. You know, I haven't got age on my side. So, you know, the more, more fights, the better. Yeah, 100%, mate. So is that your plans for the future then? Just going to focus barely on bit like just being a fighter? Yeah, the, well, the main one's the big one. That I think, you know, I, I believe, it, obviously, Chaz is the big one. Yeah, so what, what happened with the Chazza fight then? Because that was meant to happen in March. Yeah, he, he, that last fight, he got his um, he got his ribs done, so he wasn't able oh, to get. Good. Yeah, that's the only reason we're not fighting for week in three weeks. So uh, I thought it was just totally off that. No, no, it's on by June, and that's why I don't want to go by and be. Yeah, I don't want to mess the Chazza fight up. You know that is the big one, like, and that yeah. is to me. You know, I'm not, I'm, I know there's going to be money involved with that one, but to me, it's not money. I know with Chaz, there's probably more money. To me, that is a legacy fight for me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That is a really way to shut a lot of people up, you know? Yeah, so, he's like an established professional boxer, isn't he? Yeah, he's exactly. So, you know, when I beat Chaz, that's, 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 you know, that is a big, that's another big statement. That would have been, that would have been two statements I would have made in my first year of bare knuckle boxing. Yeah, so... Uh, is, do you know when he's going to be out from injury or out? He's out now, but I just don't think he had enough time to train and all that. But June, it is on in June. Me and Chaz are, are going to fight in June. So there is no more messing about. You know, I think I'm going to be his next fight. I don't think he's going to fight until then. So, you know what I mean? But I've got more than enough time. Even if, I, even if I take an injury in the next couple of fights, still got plenty of time to recover. So, you know, I don't have to take this fight next month. Like, like... This this month, I don't even need to take it. Like I'm risking, say I lose this month, it's gonna take the climax out of me and Chazza. Yeah, I'm taking is to be more prepared for Chazza, more ring craft. Do you know what I mean? I'm not just I'm not just keep going off the back of that one knockout. You know what I mean? So people that want to try and discredit me, would you do the same? Do you know what I mean? Would you risk a big a uh, big fight? It's gonna be decent money within the bare knuckle game, and. Yeah, would you potentially fuck it up? The another thing, what I was gonna say as well, are you totally off the drink and all that now? Are you gonna like yes. be into training and just a new new start? I was now? still training. Do you know what? But I was still training. 
I was still training. I was, I was like, you know, I'm the, I'm the best fucking bare knuckle pisser there is. I'm joking. Like, yeah, it's just, um, you know, I don't know if you've seen the videos recently in that, like, you know, uh, I'm going into like full recovery. Like, um, the drink has been helping me mask the pain. It's been an escapism. Do you know what I mean? But unfortunately, I did start leading two other things on the party, on the, on the party go. You know, I am talking about drugs. Um, I'm talking about one particular drug. Uh, so, you know what I mean, and it, you know I'm 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 ruining my life, you know. So I'm yeah. ruining. No, yeah. There's no good ending with that shit, mate. It only no. ends with no. But I'm owning it. Do you know what I mean? I'm owning it. Every time I was going and getting on it, more and more problems. You know what I mean? I'm I'm ruining my relationship. I'm about to be a dad, and you know I didn't come from a stable home, so it's like, what am I doing? And I'm just letting I'm letting a lot of people down. You know what I mean? I know why. You know, trying to mask it escaping do you know what i mean like people forget you know 13 and a half years i've been away bro like out, out within 13 and a half years i was out for seven months my whole adult life i've been within the system i struggle out here so much i don't put down videos i don't really put down podcasts like you know i've got i bought a ped this is an example i bought a moped they had me off it wasn't one two five took it back it didn't do the logbook. I've got letters and that coming through about court days and I've got to ring these places, DLA. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even properly driving that yet because I come out into lockdown. Like, and that's just an example like, of many things that I'm still trying to adjust in that. And then... Just be a totally different world to when you went in, isn't it? 100%, but 100%. It's like, and then all the stress and pressure, I get down on myself and then I just want to forget. And what was making me forget was uh, alcohol. Yeah. It's no good though, bro, is it? No. But that's good, mate. It's good that you're in recovery and you can just focus on fighting, mate. Positivity, get back to what you do good, mate. Yeah, Stop. well, I still, I, still, I, still, I, still, I still was training. Do you know what I mean? So I wasn't, I, was, I wasn't, you know, like literally, I wasn't awake. I wasn't waking up like eight o'clock in the morning drinking nothing. Like, I was like more like, and it wasn't every day. Do you know what I mean? It was a long like week, a, weekend and shit like that. Yeah, in my life, it was like, if I had a weekend, it was a heavy weekend. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, and then there would be a couple of, you know, they, they did get to the point, oh, well, it's a Wednesday. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I'm not, I wasn't at the point, like waking up in the morning drinking, you know, I'd still get my training in to a point, you know, and, but yeah, so. You want to be 100% though, don't you, bro? Especially in the game that you're in. Yeah, it's a dangerous game, bro. So 100%. No, I went to I went I went to corner. I went to that Chet Sandus fight. I got invited as a guest up there, and um, then um, Josh Courtney. I invited Josh Courtney to come, and the guy that he fought, like you see what he did to his face. He was there as well. Like, bro, he completely shattered all that bit of the bone of his face and that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it's not it's not a game you can yeah, play. Doing like, some bad injuries with it, like yeah, it's um. A lot of breaks as well, isn't it? Like it's hand injuries and everything as well. Yeah, my hand's finally recovered from mine because I broke all my hand last time, isn't it? My knuckles completely yeah. gone, like it's disappeared. But um, yeah, still it's, looks uh, in your hand, like still, still bad, isn't it? Like it looks I swollen, felt it. Like, I'll be feeling it hitting the pads and that as well. So I haven't been doing too much pad work. I'm more just focused on my cardio. Yeah, sweet. Is um, you got any fights for after Chaza planned or in the pipeline? Yeah, there's one guy I have spoke to Andrew. I don't know if I can put it out here. There's one guy I like him. He was the short Italian. I can't pronounce his name. He was on like a documentary of Kamora and that apparently. So like, he fought in that last BF uh, BFPA fight. So I just like you know he was on a Kamora documentary. That's like mafia shit in it. And I did speak to Andrew like. Why is he not on the last BFPA card? Yeah, the short Italian guy, the tattoos. Is like, he from Italy? Italy Paul? Italy. Does he live in? Oh, is he still living? No, no, he lives in Italy. Yeah, he lives in Italy. He flew over. Oh, from the right. So good, uh, good, good gang. I can't pronounce his name. I follow him. I met. Mean, I like him. There's no like. I want to find anything possible. I just all you know, right. He was on the. Is it when they were interviewing him and they said you're too good looking to fight in that? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I didn't see all the interviews. I ain't seen all that. I'll send it over to him. I'll send you his um. I'll screenshot his, his Instagram. I'll send it over to. him. So you can see him, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, I just like he was on the, the Kamora documentary, and you know, so like, I was like, yeah, and yeah, he had a good fight, got a good win, and he was short as well. 
he's a little bit heavier, but um, yeah, man, like that's someone I've got my potentially got my eye on. But you know, it, it all depends on at the minute. I'm really well and truly should only be focusing on the fight in three weeks. But some you know, I think whether it's still got well, I've still got that law of attraction energy in me. Like I just see me fighting Chazal. That's the big one. I haven't really looked past that. Yeah, it's been the ages in the pipeline as well, and it like yeah, man, it's viral as well. Like you look, you look on TikTok, you know, it's had millions of hits. Do you know, um, even on uh, YouTube, it hasn't millions, but you know, it's, but even I went to Crawley, like this for example. Yeah, this is how known like this fight between me and Mish. Yeah? Literally, every time I go live on TikTok, saying like that, everyone say, "What's happening, Chazza?" All the time, go out, what's happening, Chazza? <laughs> even in Crawley, I got stranded. My flight, I lost, I missed my flight in Gatwick. Got stranded, so I had to stay in a hotel in Crawley. And I went out, had a little walk around, got went to a restaurant and all that lot. Gays come up to me, oh mate, you're fighting Chazza, isn't you? <laughs> I ran even in Crawley, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. up in Manchester, so many people asked me there. Uh, Halifax in the club when I was uh, sponsored. So, mate, the fight is very well known. Like, it's, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. build up the build up, but I think it'd be good. The press conferences, and because he's a lovely character as well, isn't he? Yeah, Chaz, like, yeah you know, there's gonna be fireworks, yeah, but I will be... not be hitting him on the press conference. <laughs> no, not normal, that bit, normal. Uh, but I definitely think the BFB, yeah, they don't really do press conferences, they do like weigh in that. But I think with that fight, you know, I do think they should travel up a little bit because it's got so much potential. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's, 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 it's something, it's struck something, like, it, you know, it's, it's, it's created a massive interest. So I do think, you know, we should do a couple of press conferences, maybe, I don't know, but, you know, well, they definitely should do one anyway and, like, you know, put it out there, you know, before the weighing and all that, just to sort of really, you know, let us. Because there is, there is bad blood there. And that's what yeah. people like, isn't it? So, yeah, 100%. Man. Sometimes the press conference doesn't like, get more views than the fight. Yeah, man. I, know, I, I, I think, you know, my press conference you know, might you know get more views than my, than my potential fight. <laughs> yeah, I think there's been quite a few views on, on my last press conference. Oh, it's when, it went viral, like, mate. Yeah, ben, mate, ben Knuckles going off like it's going off, mate. Did you see uh Conor Taney's, uh new fight that's announced? Yeah, I was just spoke to him. Well, I was voice nine him earlier. He's um commentating on the BFBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see He's that. commentating, man. So it'll be class one. Are you coming then? Are you coming? What to the BFBA event? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to, mate. Yeah, 100 percent Well, get down, man. Put down, put my link down. You come to the table, come to the table with us, man. Yeah, them, bro, definitely. If you come down before, if you want to as well, mate, if you want to come down the day before, the way and all that, get some filming, get some content done, man. You're more than welcome to in that as well. If you want to do yeah. behind the scenes of it and all that as well, man. It's not yeah. far from you, is it, so No, I appreciate that, bro. I'll speak to you. I'll give you a buzz about it, innit? Yeah, mate, if people want to see that, you know, put it in the comments, man. If people want to see some behind the scene footage and that as well, um, if as long as you're up for it, yeah, let us know, man. 100%, mate. Definitely down for that, mate. But obviously, I won't keep you too long, mate. Because I know you're here, there, and everywhere doing what you're doing. I'm chilling now. My my travels are up, mate. No more, no more traveling. I've just got to go up for um, my my baby gender reveal. Do you know what I mean? So before you're that, back, are you back in um, Brighton now? Hastings, Hastings. Yeah, I'm back in Hastings. So yeah, I'm just um, going to be focused. Like I say, it's a bit hard to do the pad work in that minute because my hands. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually I'm not in sparring, man. You know, so it's a bit difficult. So all I'm gonna do is focus. Um, the next two weeks is gonna be like high intense, and then obviously for the last week, it's just gonna be a bit more relaxed. So, do you know what I mean? Let's the next few weeks and that. You know, I'm just trying to take it easy with the hands. I'm hoping that's not gonna go against me, but um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, sweet man. What are you planning on doing with your YouTube then? Are you gonna uh, what content are you gonna put out, or you're just gonna stay off social media? Are you gonna no, I, I, I was gonna stay on socials, man. Like, but you know, but bro, like I really enjoy it. It's been a big part of my life since I come out. A lot of people can just separate in that, but it's actually part of my life, and I'm, I actually admit that. And I do, you know, and I enjoy, I enjoy the positivity putting out there. I've fallen off for a little while, but it's about bouncing back, and it's about the journey as well, like. All this can be put down to as part of the journey, and people yeah. have, people have been following the way. I know I let a lot of people down, but um, you're not always going to get everything right, and then yeah. people can still see the journey. So I'm going to keep going. Like I put, I was in Brighton today. I did a couple of videos, 
Um, yeah, I'm going to try and... I'm definitely going to be trying to focus a lot more on mental health. You know, yeah. I'm going to try and get some a lot more stories out there from everyday people. And yeah, yeah I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. Yeah, it'd be good that, man. Because it'd be good to, like, not... It wouldn't be good to see you come up your social media and your YouTube platform and that because... Yeah. You've got a lot of people that follow you and look up to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like the messages I get on Insta and that as well, man. Like, you know. So, you know, it's, it's easy. It's easy to bury my head in the sand if I wanted to and give up. Do you get yeah. what I mean? But that's the easy thing to do. You know. You know, character is about you know putting that grit and dusting yourself off and getting up and moving forward. Do you know what I mean? Like, own it. That's start nothing. move forward and you know just crack and start again. Yeah, every, everyone makes mistakes, mate. If I told you all the mistakes I'd made, we'd be f we'd doing a three day live, mate. Yeah, fucking no, <laughs> <that's what I'm laughs> But everyone that's... got on me, though, innit, mate? Like, like I'm like the first ever person to do that at a press conference. Like, mate, I couldn't believe how, how it just went boom, mate. Yeah, I know, mate. Right? The hatred of people. Like, on, I was there. Uh, I actually come when it was all kicking off. And did then, you do that? Yeah, I just got there because I was a bit late. So I've just flew in the car park with my pal. And then I was watching it on my phone. I thought, whoa, I was saying to my mate, it's kicking off, yeah. So we just come no, through. I, the I didn't bed. see you there then. So I must have missed you. You, you, flew past, you flew past me. There was You were following another car, weren't you? There yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. a Range Rover and then another little car, something like that. And you had your BFBA tracksuits on and your mate did as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went there, being bagged up, man. Yeah, you just flew past us. Oh, <laughs> man, I didn't know, but you should have said, mate. You should have messaged me, bro. <laughs> I'll just come when it I was about an hour late, mate. Got there. Oh, man, you just... missed all the good content, you know what I mean? Oh, man, it was devoured. Three hours, I was stuck in traffic. Fucking oh, night. But yeah, bro, like, but obviously, the, um, uh, 3D actually been posting, like, that week. Yeah, do you know how many times it kicked off at press conferences, that, like, last week? I know, yeah, I've, I've Few of them on my story. No, 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 no. But I'm out people like, on Instagram. Honestly, pe people, please stop sending me it. Like, literally, like, people think like, I'm, fucking, I'm part of this, like, kick off at a bloody um, press conference call. <laughs> Mate, yeah. honestly, especially last week, it was kicking off. And then I've had people like, sending me one from like, Mosley's, Canelo's, um, like, even There's top been level. a few bare ones, hasn't there? Like, yeah, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the, one, the, the ones in the big circle. They was like, proper guy now, yeah. You know, so it does happen. I'm again, I'm not trying to justify like, but I do think the hate I got was like, What did you feel like? like? What did you when did it start? All start when did it all start for you? The hate was it all, like literally oh, straight well, away? I was, all, I'll be straight, I was at a party in that night, do you know what I mean? We went out, we ended up going out that night, so I went really close. I did my posts, you know, I was like kind of buzzing about it because I just, I don't know, I feel like, like I said, all that emotion that I feel like. I must have felt like I got one over on everyone. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah, all the anger and that. And that's like, to be fair, it's unfair to live in London. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, and that's why I took the video down on my channel. Like, it was on like 16,000 views and that. But, you know, he did turn around and say, you know, his kids watched that. And that really affected me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I know even though he turns around and said things about my born and he said about my missus. But when he turned around and said his kids watched it, I was quite. I haven't actually said this shit, I haven't admitted this shit. And I, I was actually quite, you know what I mean? Like, because I've got a lot of hatred for him. And I, I, I do dislike him. But even someone I dislike, even when he did turn around and say that, I see him when he was live, I was a bit wounded. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it is, you know, it was humiliating. And it was sort of, you know, it, it, is, it is wrong. I still wouldn't say I fully swiped him that low. I think, you know, we're, we're face to face. You know, like there had been threats from both parties before, you know, so I wouldn't fully put it down to. I just think it's because of the environment that like, we weren't fighting each other, it wasn't my opponent. There was like real beef, uh, you know, there was real malice beef, like, you know, the environment, everything. It, the, it is what it is, but, you know, like, I'm just glad it's done now. You know, it's, it's, it's well, a mean, big, man. big learning curve for me, man, massively. Yeah, hundred percent. If you, if you talk about it all the time, it's never gonna go away, is it? Nah, that's what I'm saying. I, wanted, I told everyone that. Admit if you've done wrong, you've apologised, mate. Like it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, and he's, well, he's booming. He's it, booming over it, mate. Like 
it, to be honest, he owes me a thank you. And oh, listen, I, hope, I hope he watches this. Yeah, living alone, you owe me a thank you. You've definitely got your compensation, mate. He's smashing. Like, he's smashing. <laughs> I have never seen anyone with over a thousand people in their lives and that, mate. Like, yeah, he's on he's like, such a gobshite as well, mate. Like, he, he is fun. Like, to, you know, he's a gobshite. Yeah, he is. You can't. He's one of them people you can sit and listen to, and he. Yeah, be... he, he's got he's got all the characters to to be good at what he does. You yeah. know what I mean? He, he is good. He is a good reaction person. You know, but I just don't like. I definitely think, and I think you know, even that might. I don't know if that was a bit of a learning curve from him. You know, you do keep digging people out. It's not just the internet. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you know, and that, 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 that's that's something he needs to learn. You know, what he might think because he always says it's banter, banter, but that wasn't banter. Not always. Everyone's going to take it as banter. Do you get what I mean? And you know, one time it will get on top for you, like it did on the press conference. But yeah. you know, I think he he just needs to know that. You know, I think I've done him a big favour, bro. Like, he went downhill after the Jordan McCann. You know, he was, like, the most hated. And then now he's, like, a fucking... He got his sweat and everyone loves him off, mate. And I'm the fucking <laughs> most hated. I'm the one to prove that he didn't attack Jordan. Like, it's just a complete fucking table turn. <laughs> oh, God. Nightmare, mate. Yeah, no. Nah, but fair play, you know what? Like, you know, I wish him all his success, mate. Like, you know, he, he did a video once when, when I said it threatened defamation. The channel means a lot to him, so um, yeah, all the best to him, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got, I've, I've completely let go of my hatred for him now. I have, like, yeah, you know, dear, man. yeah, I've just, I've completely let go of it. It's, it, you know, just let it go. It's, I'm still getting some of the comments and that, you know, there's been some vile ones as well, like on that Instagram, like, like I'm just hoping people can oh, see. Yeah, you're always, you're always gonna get that though. You're yeah, always it's always gonna come now. Like the social media, the YouTube, you're always gonna get it, man. Yeah, I just hope people can sort of like. Probably, yeah, look, no, no. I made a mistake. It happens. Like, who doesn't? You know, I regret it. I just hope you know. It, it, you know, but everyone was just give me, give me a break, give me a pass. Like, just give me a bit of a pass on this <laughs> one. I mean, fucking hell, please. I'm sure with the will, mate. You've owned yeah. up to what you've done, and that's so. I'm sure everyone will understand, and just let it slip, mate. Because. Yeah. Living as long as living in London's accepted your apology, mate, which I've seen on his uh live, then people have got no reason to be angry with you, have they, mate? Really, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know I mean, I did challenge him to a game of FIFA, but he ain't her uh, back, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I think that'd be funny as fuck, mate. You know what I mean? I think you know what you should do that and record the like they but stream. Well, that's what Uncle K and Exposure do, don't they? And yeah. then if you think about them two, yeah. I don't know if people, they're not like fighters and all that. So I don't know if people on your audience will follow these two people. Exposure used to terrorise me. You know, he was, a, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I know I find it quite, you know, it's terrible, like funny. Like, and he leaves me like, he doesn't do any videos and that now. So thank you, Exposure. Um, Uncle K. Oh, it's just me here. It's, oh, you watch him, innit? Exposure to me. What you done? But um, yeah, Uncle Ken as well. Like um, he went in on me, but he sent me some messages, some kind messages. So you know, now I'm gonna jump on the fee for them and on the Sunday. I'm gonna go buy it tomorrow. I used to bank fee when I was away, so like, it's gonna take me a little day to uh, rust up. But um, PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. I'm, I'm I'm sitting there playing Call of Duty right now. Yeah, I'll have to get onto that. Like, are you Call of Duty man or FIFA? Yeah, I like FIFA, for me, mate. We've FIFA, just been yeah. with the work lads, and that's yeah. what we're doing. The hotel just play FIFA. Yeah, man, I'll, bring, I'll get the FIFA out, man. I'm gonna buy it, buy it tomorrow, isn't it? Latest one, so I'll be up to date, man. So yeah, yeah man, people want to see. Quite me. Incredible on it, to be honest, like so. Huh? I don't, I'm quite incredible on FIFA, to be honest. Oh, so. it's a challenge. <laughs> we, we need to get a challenge up here. We could do weekly FIFA fight talk. We could talk about all the fights in the week, mate, on a Sunday. Me. FIFA Fight Talk Live. We can answer all questions and talk about, about the fights, man. How about that, people? 100%, man. should definitely do it, mate. Yeah. You can record it. it and you... I'll smash you at FIFA, bro. <laughs> Let's settle this like gentlemen living in London. You should set it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a video out and set the challenge. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to get Uncle K living in London, get, get more involved, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, see, because all these podcast wars, everyone just wants to fight everyone at the minute, and I know really? I have massively been part of that. Massively, <laughs> I think I was one of the first ones to start it, calling that down and that. But 
you know, if we could, if we could all like, you know, try and set a better example now and settle our beefs on FIFA, <laughs> with yeah. their banter and all that, I, I think that's the best way to move forward. Yeah, hundred percent. It'd be good if all the YouTubers got together and just fucking had mad FIFA tornos. Imagine oh, the argu- game, bro. Like, let me let me I'm involved, mate. I'm involved, man. Imagine the arguments, mate. It'd be fucking hilarious. I get put. Hey, he'd, he'd be a cunt living in London, wouldn't he? Like, can you imagine he'd be, mate? Oh, rubbing it in. Hey, he one of them, bro. He was winning, mate. He'd be rubbing <laughs> it in, bro. Like, you know the celebrations to wind you up whenever. Um, <laughs> bro, he'd he, he, be the sort of cunt you just break your controller. Then he do a reaction video telling every cunt that like, you broke your control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He fucking would. He absolutely would. <laughs> but that's that's it. Okay, thank you for your support behind the behind um, away from the social media and that as well, man. It means a lot. So I mean I also I fully support your fuse and you know, people who watch me that come over, please keep behind the fuse, man. He's, he's an amazing guy. But behind, off behind the scenes as well, so big up to you, my bro. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. But I'll give you, the, I'll give you the buzz, mate, in it tomorrow. All right, bro. Take care, my bro. Big up, everyone. You too, uh, matey. Uh,